Fighting makes you look very stupid, trashy, and just, you look like you have no home training. Don't do it. Yo! Shout they going out on the team. 3500 for D. Shed, please. I got your horn and leash. Shout on her knees. Ready to preach. Suck on my dick like a leech. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sam Pride. Hold up. And I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to be giving y'all eight college advice tips for incoming freshmen or anybody who's still in college. But hopefully, this video is still helpful for y'all. So. If you're new to the channel, as always, make sure you like, comment, hit that subscribe button, more content on the way. Let's go. Alright, to start us off, tip number one, stay away from early morning classes. <sighs> I'm telling y'all, early morning classes will kick your ass. I'm not even joking, joking, not even joking with you. Early morning classes, that's for 8 a.m.s, 9 a.m.s. The only exception is 10 a.m.s. Because 10 a.m.s, you know, it's not that early, but it's still pretty early, but you can still manage. Like I'm telling you, if you take an 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. class, you're going to be tired, you're not have the same energy to study or do your work or pay attention to class. You're going to be falling asleep on your desk, and it's not going to be beneficial for you or your grades. And, you know, you pay so much money and roll into college, you know, it's not going to be it's not going to be good. So what I advise you all to do is take, you know, 1 p.m., 2.30s, I think there's 3s, 4s, 6 evening classes because you'll be well rested, you have a lot to eat and you'll know what you're doing, you'll be able to focus more on class. Tip number two, take your classes and your grades extremely serious. Take your grades seriously. I'm telling y'all, you do not want to slack off in college. If you slack off in college, if you reach a certain grade point average that's not good enough for your certain university, they're going to kick you out. You know, I'm currently a sophomore at Rutgers University, Newark, and I gotta take my grades seriously almost every single day. I'm studying 24 seven, and when I have time, free time to like party, or hang out with friends, I do that once I'm done with my work. Seriously, because, you know, your parents are paying thousands of dollars for you to go to school, and if you dorm, it's even more money. Meal, board, supplies, you're paying for books. So what's the point of you flunking out of school, and then once you get kicked out, you don't even get the money back. You get no refund, it's like they don't even care. They'll literally tell you, well, you should've studied, you should've taken great seriously. We got your money, so I mean, we already got our money, so we don't really care. Universities are like that. If it's a PWI, HBCU community, it doesn't even matter. You're not gonna get your money back. So I'm telling y'all, incoming freshmen, take your grades seriously, take your classes seriously, and do your work on time and try your absolute best to pass your classes with flying colors. Tip number three, don't put all your focus in on relationships. I know, I know, college is huge. It's filled with grown men and grown women, because back in high school, there's only very few women who look grown and very few men who look like men. So when you get to college, it's understand understandable that your hormones are going to be acting up, going crazy, and you're going to want to talk to any guy or girl that you see. And vice, it goes vice versa. It goes both ways. But I'm telling you this because if you get into a relationship while you're in college, it's really going to take away all the bonding time you have with your friends, the events you want to go to, study time, you know, personal space. You know, it's going to be a challenge. But if you can make it work, then sure, you can do that. But I know everyone's different. Because at the end of the day, the girls ain't going nowhere. And the guys ain't going nowhere. They're going to be there all the time. And when you truly know that you won't be distracted, you have the time, then sure, you can get into a relationship. Tip number four, get involved. Get involved with as many events. Meet as many people as you can. Because once you're in college, there's so many people to talk to. There's so many people you can learn from. So many people to hang out with. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, Spanish, Asian. Purple, yellow, blue, there's people. Not everyone's gonna be mean, childish, or disrespectful. There's so many friendly people in college, and especially if you're an incoming freshman, you get to hang out with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, or people who are even older than the senior class, because college is college. You know, you can go to sporting events, clubs, there's like so much going on that it's kind of impossible to be bored if you live in, if you dorm in college, you know? And it takes a certain amount of time for people to finish college at their own pace. So when you get involved, you know, with Greek life, going to these events, you're really gonna feel at home at your own certain school or specific school, um, like I'm trying to say. You'll make so many memories with friends, even, you know, 
know, other people you don't even, you never thought you'd be friends with. It's like a really good experience. Tip number five, this is a good one, this is a good one. Try your best not to party too much. I know college is filled with so many parties. You know, you don't have your parents watching, all. you don't have your parents calling your phone or trying to, you know, tell you what to do. Like every, you're basically an adult at school. And what I mean by try not to party too much, don't let it get in the way of other important stuff because the parties ain't going nowhere either. There's so many different parties near your school, in your school, around your school, it's everywhere. You're not gonna miss anything if you miss one or two parties just for so you can do other things. It's always gonna be there. You don't wanna risk, you know, getting kicked out of school or falling behind your grades just because you wanna party. Go to every single party. Tip number six, avoid unnecessary drama. Like I'm telling you, just keep yourself out of drama when you're in college. It is so pointless, it's very unnecessary. You're not in high school no more. You're all grown, everyone's adults in college. Fighting makes you look very stupid, trashy, and just, you look like you have no home training. Don't do it. Because it's gonna give you a bad reputation, an un unwanted bad reputation at school if you're known for that, if you're known for being that girl or guy that's always arguing with people, always fighting people. It makes you look really, really bad. And some freshmen tend to do this. They always wanna make a name for themselves or fit in in some way by causing a little altercation or you know trying to be an, un be an unnecessary drama. Just have fun, do what you gotta do, and live your best life. You know, don't fight, don't argue, stay out, stay out of drama. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Number seven, get your financial aid, money in order with the school and your parents. I'm telling you, you do not want to be slow with this. If you're slow with this, you're gonna have many problems in school with, with trying to keep up with your you know term bill, student student loans, everything. If you don't get your FAFSA or money in order with your parents or the school, it's really gonna be, it's gonna be annoying. You're gonna be going through stressful nights, long phone calls with your financial aid office and your mom or dad. It's just unwanted, it's just unnecessary. You don't need that, just get on top of it early. Once you get accepted to your school, you know, as soon as possible, get your FAFSA done, you know, apply for as many scholarships as you can if your school is expensive. Like you don't wanna be waiting around, you don't wanna be late with all your own money moves. I said buddy, you don't wanna be you don't wanna be late with none of that. Because you wanna be prepared, you wanna be prepared early. The final tip, don't be in a rush to choose a major. I know, I know college can be scary, you know, you wanna be successful right out the gate, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you wanna take your time with choosing a major. If you don't know or you're unsure, it's okay to be undecided because there's many, many freshmen who are undecided. You have until your sophomore year to have a fully declared major. It's not it's not that serious. You can take your time. You know, you can stay, be undecided, take your core classes such as math, English, science, history, whatsoever. Because if you choose a major that your parents tell you to choose or whatever your friends are choosing, you're gonna find yourself in a confused spot because you're gonna realize, oh, I really don't like this. You're gonna have to go back to your, you know, your counselor or your advisor and change the major, change and change and change. If you're unsure of the major that you want to choose, don't be afraid to be undecided. There's nothing wrong with that. No one's going to look at you funny. You're not, it's not embarrassing. It's perfectly normal. The bonus tip, have fun. Like, just have fun. You know, college in some people's case, in my case, is the best and worst time of your life. You'll have your ups and downs. You'll have many trials and tribulations, but at the end of the day, it's truly worth it. It will make so many lifelong friends, lifelong memories, and it'll really mold you into a person you want to be in the future, it'll help you grow, mature. It'll give you a different type of experience that you never had before, that you can tell your future kids, grandkids. You know, it's college, college is something you shouldn't take for granted. Like, for real. You know, if college isn't for everybody at the same time, if college isn't for you, then it's okay not to go because everyone's path is different. But I'm just telling you, just have fun, be yourself, just. You. Hey guys, that was my college tip video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment what you thought of this video, and any other suggestions y'all want me to do, I post every week. And it's your boy, CM Pride. I'm out.